Camden developed normally, hit all of his milestones, and then with Cade, around six months, we really started knowing he started declining really fast. So that was like, whoa, what's going on? We didn't have any history of SMA or any other kind of genetic diseases. We got his diagnosis that he had spinal muscular atrophy and our lives kind of shifted at that point. I have to say it hasn't really affected Cade's personality or his attitude or anything. He's still sassy as ever and thinks he controls the whole family. He doesn't get to experience a lot of stuff, so he's kind of limited to what he can do. My favorite part was just seeing how excited the kids got, being able to actually take Kate out to do something really fun. Behind your guys' seat here, we have life jackets, and I don't expect anyone to fall in the water. <laughs> My oldest was super excited to see a whale. That was like his only goal for that day. That's Fort McGilvery. So it housed over 250 men during World War II. Um, and it's all subterranean and it overlooks the whole bay and like out to the Gulf. Pretty cool. Can I see? What is it? Bald eagle up there? Okay, but if I see it, do you see it? Yeah. So that eagle's eyesight is so good that if it could read, it could read a newspaper a mile away. Try to convince Camden to, you know. Okay. <gasps> when I'm playing with Cade and just hanging out with him, I like to try to have him do fun things that I know he can't really do on his own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
A lot of things that you don't think about you know, that are just kind of everyday things that they do are a lot more, uh, I guess, important to you when you have a kid with special needs. Get one. Throw. Throw the other one. Good job. Good job. Our adventure was pretty awesome. Camden especially had a lot of fun when the whale was breaching. He liked seeing the spouts coming up. Kate got to experience a new thing in life. We struggle with being able to take him out for a lot of adventures, so this was definitely something that was a great experience, not only for Cade, but for a bonding experience for him and his brother. Cade, can you say cheese? Say cheese! I mean, I'm almost 100% sure that he would be walking at this point if he were diagnosed, you know, at a month old versus 11 months old. He lost a lot between the ages of six months to 11 months. Wow, good job. Do it soft so he can So SMA is not on the newborn screening blood test that they do for newborns between the ages of like 10 to 14 days old. I just want to make sure that other families who don't know they have family history of, of SMA, they can have their child tested earlier and their child would have a different outcome than Cade does. They're going to probably start a pilot program towards the end of this year and we're hoping by next year they'll sign it through the assembly to add it on there. <laughs>